Hey gang, Arjun here. And I want to bring you the end result of about a year's worth of work by a team of physicians, med students, artists, computer programmers. It's something I wish I'd had as a medical student. The clinical image overlays. Now, many of the images that you see in the RX bricks are interactive. The labels and arrows are augmented with colors that appear when you mouse over, making it easy to parse structures in complex medical images like pathology slides. You can even switch to quiz mode and try to interpret the image yourself like a real clinician would, and get immediate feedback when you mouse over the structure. Better than having an attending pathologist pointing at a screen, right? We cover a range of both normal and pathologic images, drawing attention to normal structures to look for, and pointing out when those normal structures are disrupted in ways that indicate a certain type of pathology. It's especially helpful when the real danger signs aren't the most obvious. For example, while your eyes may be drawn to the big black pneumothorax or even the opacified left lung, the thing that's really likely to kill this patient is the fact that the pneumothorax is compressing the mediastinum to the left, which will ultimately cut off blood flow to the heart. Even for physical exam findings, a picture only provides one example of a disease, and we all know there's a wide range of how a disease can appear in real life. But the overlays help you build the vocabulary to describe what exactly looks so wrong about this weird mole in ways that are also valuable in clinical practice when communicating with specialists. This is just our latest step towards making the RxBricks a true multimedia learning platform. And we hope you're as excited about this as we are.